welcome once again another sql video this time you are going to teach me something i'm going to show you an interesting surprising case in sql server and you will let me know why it behaves this way let's get started we're again using adventureworks 2016 for the purpose of demo i'm using this table called person dot person by this time you would know i love this table it doesn't have my name on it but anyway sp help index person dot person so let's see what are the indexes that we have on this table and the index that we are going to play with now is this one last name first name and middle name that's the index with three columns it's a composite index and this is the order of columns that's an important thing to note so we have last name as the first column first name as the second column and middle name as the third column now the fun begins look at this simple query select first name from person dot person where first name is greater than b now let's not get into the logic of this predicate but let's take this as an example now looking at this query the first thing that you are sure about is we are only wanting to play with first name and first name as a column the column values are available in this index. So SQL Server is not going to go to the base table and get everything that it wants from this index. Let's go and execute this. Before you execute, make sure the actual execution plan is turned on. Let's turn this on and jump over to the execution plan. Now, as we expected, SQL Server fetches the data from this object, ix person last name. And just to be sure, if you take the cursor over here, this is the object that we were playing with, right? And rightly so. And things that you would note here is that it deploys a index scan. That's what the optimizer does. And rightly so again, because first name is not the first column in this index so the optimizer cannot seek on this index and the predicate is on first name which is the second column so it scans and gets all the data out well all good here now the next thing to note here is the missing index the optimizer sql server here is recommending that we should create an index and what's this index on let's go right click here and go to min missing index details and you can see it's recommending an index on first name now there's obviously some logic behind this because you want first name and then there is a predicate on first name so sql server thinks that having an index on first name will be good and it can give you up to 80 percent performance impact because it can seek on this index of first name that's the basic premise that optimizer would love seeking and in most cases as you know seeking is going to be much faster than scanning scanning means you're touching all the pages at the leaf level more io and seeking means you're traversing the b tree structure from root to intermediate to the leaf level and that could be very very few pages so SQL Server is recommending this index. Now, until this point, it's all good and it is explainable. Here comes the fun. The only change we do to this query is add an order by clause, right? If so, if you look at the query, the construct itself, we still want first name and the predicate is on first name, but now we have an order by clause on first name. Now, uh, taking things from a very uh, simplistic approach, nothing really changes we still want the same data the only thing is now we want the data to be ordered by first name now let me ask you it is isn't this good enough and more a reason for the optimizer to recommend an index hint to you and the same index where we have an index on first name because now we are ordering by first name and when you have an index on first name, the data is ordered by that column. So the summary here is the optimizer would really be rooting for this index, this hint. Let's see what happens. When I go and select this query and execute this, jump over to the execution plan. First, it does an index scan on that existing index, that's fine. And now because we're asking for the data to be ordered, it deploys a sort operator. Remember, the data is not ordered by first name, it is ordered by last name. So it has to do an in-memory sort and then get the data out to you. But here goes the fun. Where is the missing index hint? Now there is no recommendation at all. And going by my previous argument, what I wanted to tell you is, 
because we have order by clause on first name this becomes more so a very important reason why that hint or that recommendation should come because if it recommends us to create an index on first name data would be pre-sorted so this could be a very expensive plan and you can look at that cost there 92 percent and by having an index on first name we can get rid of the sort operator also so if the optimizer actually recommended an index here it should definitely should have recommended an index here as well but that did not happen surprising sql server um, never uh, stops amazing me in you know these uh, um, different conditions and situations anyway let's move forward so what we want to do now is go forward and try to understand what's going on why is the optimizer not recommending an index here well, I don't have the answer and that's why this video, if you have answered, put that down in the comments window, but let's move on. So what I tried to do here now is look at, uh, take other attributes from that index because I am uh, selecting first name and because first name is also part of the predicate, does that have to do anything with that? Okay, let's go and see. So we are now selecting middle name and my predicate still remains first name greater than B. Let's go and execute this and you will see from the execution plan, no recommendation, no missing index recommendation. Remember here when this was first name, we were being recommended to create an index on first name. But now when I'm asking for another attribute, the recommendation goes away. Probably because now we are talking about a slightly more expensive index here with two columns, first name and middle name. I was, I could have probably expected that the optimizer would recommend an index on first name and ask us to include middle name as part of the index formation, but that does not happen. And likewise, if it didn't come here, putting an order by clause um, would not make any difference. So no recommendation as well, yet you have the sort operator. Let's go over. Let's try taking last name. Last name is the first column in this existing index. Does that change the behavior at all or the way the optimizer thinks? Let's go and select this. Now again, really no impact so you take any attribute from that index there's no recommendation coming but let me remind you the moment you change this last name to first name and this is what when we do we get the recommendation right missing index and recommendation okay let's do the order by here with last name and things are going to be same as what you saw with middle name no change here now all this while we were using this relational operator, right, greater than B. I changed the predicate a bit. Now I'm using equality operator. So I'm saying, give me first name where first name is equal to Bob. So all the records with first name Bob will show up. Let's go and execute this. What do we get? We get all Bobs, jump over to the execution plan. We are again getting the recommendation, like let's go ahead and create an index on uh, first name. Okay. What if we now put an order by clause again? Remember now it's the same series of queries that we are trying. The only difference is instead of relational operator, now we have an equality operator. Let's go and execute this. We get all the bobs, jump over to the execution plan. Oh, there you go. Now, now with the order by clause, we are getting the index hint recommendation, which didn't come earlier. Oh, really? Did we? This is tricky. This query and this query, they both are the same. Remember this one, there is no sort operator here. Even though you write order by, there's really nothing to sort. There's nothing to order by. Why? Because we are using an equality operator. You have all the bobs here only. So what are you going to really sort? So this and this is effectively the same. So you are getting the recommendation here for this one. And that's what you get for this one doesn't make a difference. So we're still back to that old problem, uh, old situation where you're not getting a recommendation in the order by clause. Okay, let's move forward. Now I change the operator from equality to like. Does that make a difference? Okay, let's go and do that. Let's go and execute. Give me first name like Bob, jump over to the execution plan. You are getting a scan. You're getting the missing index recommendation and the optimizer is asking you to create an index on first name. All good. And then I put order by clause. Is it going to change things? First name like B-O-B. Let's go and do this. And when you get all the bobs here, jump over to the execution plan here. There you go. So when you say first name like B-O-B, and let's jump over to the results. Again, no need to really sort, but if you see here, there's no sort operator here. 
recommendation comes. So this is equivalent to using the equality operator because in the result set, you still just have all the bobs. So there's really nothing to sort. And that is where I do my last trick here, where I say like B percentage. So I'm going to get more records starting from starting with B. So there are going to be uh, different uh, types of records and there will be a need to sort. Let's go and execute this. Oops, I clicked on new query by mistake. Uh, let's do this once more. Okay, and jump over. So now, now you're getting a lot of values with B. Jump over to the execution plan. You get the recommendation. And here comes the final one, like B percentage. Order by first name. Let's go and execute this. Jump over to the execution plan. Yes, there you go. So you now get the sort operator. Data is being ordered by and the optimizer is also recommending a non-clustered index and it's the same non-clustered index, right click. What you got right in the very beginning, create it on first name. So friends, very, very tricky. And just to remind you, the query where you don't get this it was just like this, right? Nothing much. And when you go and execute this, it doesn't give you the index recommendation. Tricky, surprising, SQL Server never stops uh, amazing you with all the intricacies involved in this relational database software. So why does the optimizer behave this way? Remember, optimizer is cost based. I don't have the answer. I want an answer from you. So comment on the video um, comment section and let me know what you think. Why is the optimizer not recommending an index here? Having an index on first name would have been great because then uh, you will be able to seek because first name being the only column, uh, you that will make it a seekable predicate. So you will be able to seek and the data is going to be pre-sorted. Pre-sorted means you can get rid of this expensive sort operator. So having an index on first name is going to do so much goodness, yet the optimizer chooses not to recommend an index on first name in this example. Why? If you like the content, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there, video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.